Hi all you civil 3D people. Well, I know you watched my last video and you looked at this dam and you looked at that spillway that I had designed over there to the right and you said, man, that is one of the best spillways I have ever seen. Like that is, that's the jam right there. It's so uh, perfect and spot on. How did he build that thing? How did he come in here? Did he calculate math? Did he get crazy with that? How, how did he, did he do trial and error? Uh, no, not really. Okay, let's go back to uh, where I created a separate surface and had it intersect with another and get the zero intersect. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my previous videos and you'll catch the drift, okay? All I've done is I've created a surface called Spillway 3. And I added in these white lines that are stepped offsets where this is a flat area. If you look at the white lines, this would be flat. And then I did a stepped offset up at four to one, a stepped offset up four to one. I took these break lines and I threw them into this surface called spillway three. Not complicated, no big deal. I created, and I didn't have to do this, but I did it for this demonstration. I created that volume one, main dam and spillway three, and I gave it the, the uh, Daylight intersect surface, elevation zero, so you could see the actual intersection of that. So that is the outline of my spillway, but remember that pink line is still inside this surface called volume. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead, now let's take, let's take the dam, and let's, let's give it a surface style of no display, because uh, I just, I don't want to see it right now, I don't want to interact with it. Um, let's give this uh, volume now. I'll just give it a, a display of, of uh, no display also. Okay. Oh, what have I done? Okay. Well, the surfaces are still there. You just can't see them. I will once again do that minimum distance between two surfaces. I will select my design dam. And I will select my spillway three and there it is zoom to it yes create polylines yes now there's I, I will throw this out there right now if you look at this line there are a lot of grip points on this line it's just it's intersected with that surface it creates all of these that could potentially throw a bunch of little triangles into your surface that you don't want. But I have all the points that I need off of this to do this. I'm already on this on the layer that I want this to be. I'm going to create a 3D polyline. Okay, I'll, I'll have my O-snaps on here. I'm going to O-snap to that point. Okay, this is going to be boring for a second. Hang with me. Go there. Go to here. We're going to go right on around this guy. I could have added the line. I probably would have had to weed it, do a bunch of foolishness. Don't want to do that. And close this. Let's go ahead and kill. And I have my uh, a search on uh, down here, you know, for multiple objects. I'm going to delete out that old one. Now I have just this. Now there's two other lines that I need, and that's the bottom of my channel. So I'm going to create one here. I'm going to create one here. Okay, I am going to go ahead now, and I will I, I will just go ahead and turn off this layer. I'm going to trim out all of these lines. None of this is none of this is complicated. I haven't done any math. I would mess it all up if I tried to calculate the thing out. Now let's let's go back in here to to uh, the dam and let's add these. Uh, we'll just be brave because uh, you know it's I guess it's fun in the in the in the sense that. Uh, what are you going to get in the end? Is it going to be just exactly what you want? I'll call this spillway three because it's uh, 
That's just what I gave up. Story three. I'll set my new ordinance distances down. I will go ahead and add these in here. I might as well add these because once these are broken, things can get messed up. It won't hurt to add them again. So I'll go ahead and add those. Okay, here's the real test. I've done it all. I've got it designed in there. Let's let's go to the design down. And this is the this is the tells telltale all right here. Let's give it the proposed look. Okay, you're asking me what on earth happened? I'm going to show you. Underneath surface properties. Underneath definition. Okay, now this is why I want to cover this in, a, in another session real heavily, but I want you to kind of study the properties of the surface property that exists. And then you know what? Because I have this issue going on here where those, those brake lines did not get added, even though I added them right here, I am going to show you in my next video how to fix this and why that happened. So stand by, and I'll get to you in the next video. But remember, look at this and go, gee, Mike, you did everything right. You added these brake lines. What on earth happened? Okay, well, stand by for that next video. Until next time, see you bye.